So hi K Tri, welcome back to my <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have Claire. It's Claire's first time in Nairobi, and these are the four things I think she should do today. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> yes, elephants. Yeah. So we're going to the elephant sanctuary, the yeah. giraffe center. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? The bombas. Yeah, bombas of Kenya. Yeah, Kali. and elephant of furniture. You said that. Yes. I'm excited! Yay, I'm so Yay. excited! We are going to breakfast first. It's 9:14 a.m. And yeah, if you enjoyed this kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> See you guys! See you. And just think at best dress summer, it's the best hotel. It's near all this location we are mentioning. Yeah. See you. See you. So this is my breakfast. So we are going to our first stop. That's the David Shell Drink Club in the Vancouver Beach. And we are in Nagurubla. Oh, these are the letters for the letters. <laughs> 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 because so the elephants have good teeth and so if you put your hands on the mother's and they see me I found the wedding of the likes of a national park he died in 1977 and this project was started in his memory under the management of the widow 
who is now the late Dr. Ben Duffin Chadwick, who's been running the project since then, until early last year, when she passed on, leaving the mandate to her daughter, Angela Chadwick, who has been running the project together with the mother for about 17 years before the mother passed on. Robinson to the last auction, and so he was just very lucky to be found still alive, and that is why we rescued him at one month. Right now, approximately two and a half years old. Next to Musiara is his best friend, the man from the, the name Sotau, who is approximately two and a half years old as well. The two have grown up together. Really. He might have been separate from his family, the human beings, and so he's a victim of human wildlife conflict. Next, after Maktau, is an elephant with the name Kiasa, who is approximately two years old. And Kiasa was rescued from Sava Conservation Area. She is a drought victim. Her mother is believed to have died from starvation and due to drought, and that is why she was left alone. And lastly, the last one on my right, next to the keeper, is an elephant with the name Laro, who also happens to be the youngest that we've got in the nursery, and the smallest, approximately 13 months old. She was rescued from the Masai Mara, Olaro Conservancy, identified all alone, and that is why we rescued her. Right now, she's approximately 13 months old. So that makes a total of eight elephants in the first group. And a few minutes from now, all the eight will walk away so that we can get and human wildlife conflict is one of the major. And that is why areas where these animals are not originally to browse and look for water have now been occupied by people. Migratory groups of wild animals. Once you pay for this fee, we will give you a certificate to be able to allocate that to be able to have a doctor. You will also get a special watercolor painting. Which and we feed them on milk on intervals so of three hours day and night. So eight times in a 24 hour. No more for you. for close observation and treatment after the tests have been done. So that is where you can tell she's still skinny compared to the others. She's almost five years, mm. but small in size compared to the three-year-old. Behind Dupoto is a three-year-old elephant called Joto, who is one of the oldest in this group. And Joto was rescued from Samburu, Namnyak area. He was found fallen down a well. Oh. When he was only three weeks, right now three years old. It's a very clever and very intelligent animal. <laughs> orphanage it's really a nice place i can recommend it nine of nine out of ten you should go there now we are heading to giraffe center 
it's nearby. So the giraffe center and the elephant orphanage is like 20 minutes drive. Guys, we're at the giraffe center. It only took 20 minutes from the elephant orphanage to the giraffe center. And at the elephant orphanage, we paid like 500 Kenyan shillings. And they are paid like 400 Kenyan shillings. But if you are non residents, you pay 1,500 Kenyan shillings. So, yeah, it's really nice. coffee machine where Karen used to <laughs> do all the coffee and we're working on a trail it's really cool <laughs> Karen Lixen Museum, we are on our way, that's our Uber. We are on our way to Bomas of Kenya and from here Karen to Bomas of Kenya it's 18 minutes and our Uber ride is looking for us. So from a rate of 1 to 10, I can rate uh, Karen Blixen maybe an 8 because it's just a small house. <laughs> and you can't take pictures inside by the way but it's really interesting to know what Karen was about oh. <laughs> so getting on the Uber I'm <laughs> sorry we are the bombers of Kenya right now. We're gonna see some dances and probably eat here at the Utamaduni restaurant because Claire wants to experience the local food. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is why I'm getting fatter and fatter. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a video walking to the homestead. Yeah. We are walking towards the traditional homestead.
at the bombers. We are waiting for them. We are waiting. They are going to do a cultural dance. So that's why we are sitting here. Yeah. And then later on, we are going to see the homesteads, like the Michikenda, the Kikuyu, all the tribes' homesteads. by the way my tribe is Kisi and we are going to check the Kisi homestead that we used to live <laughs> I, 
I think what you saw, what you saw in Masai Mara. Not this, this window is bigger than uh, the window in uh, yeah. Why is there so much space here? Oh. You know that I don't want to see this. You got like goats and sheep. Huh? Oh. <laughs> then, then Masai. Which house did we go to? So what I've realized is the African tribe they have like two to three wives. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and the Masai's left slept with their cows and goats in the same house Thanks look at this window Masai <laughs> you've realized so this is Somali tribe so we have Somali in Kenya the Gabra, Sakuye and Burana so this is a Somali cultural homestay So updates around like six or, or five thirty and I decided we decided to go to Azuri, Claire. <laughs> Why did you decide to go to Azuri? Because the other restaurant did not have enough local food and I did not like that. So <laughs> we decided to go to Azuri and I'm excited to see what I can get. Yeah. <laughs> steak, uh, mokimo, it's basically for your smashed potatoes with uh, pumpkin leaves and then there's broccoli and uh, I have chapati, uh -huh. cabbage and liver but the liver is done in a in an African way. way. <laughs> okay. I can't remember what it's called but it uh, looks good and I'm ready. Stir fry liver. Okay let's begin. <laughs> channel today is Sunday I'm here over by the pool and the lounge the pool is just behind me can you see it okay we'll just go there and see it so today's activities are this is day two of things to do in Kenya today's activities we are going to KICC Kenya International Conference Center and then we go to Nairobi National Museum and I really hope you like it and my current location is we've been staying at Best Western Hotel because it's near all the location I've mentioned in this video yeah I'll show you a tour of the swimming pool I'll overlay it here if you like this kind of videos if you like this kind of videos don't forget to like comment subscribe let's hit 10,000 subscribers like I love you all Breakfast. It looks like a meal. Oh, guys, uh, I forgot to tell you we are going today to. Oh, we are eating breakfast, and then we are going today things to do in Nairobi. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are checking out today at 12 noon. So yeah, let me. It's an update. We walked from Best Westerner to Nairobi National Museum. It took 18, min 18 minutes and we got help from the Google map. 
I'm gonna take you around. I can't vlog everywhere because it's like prohibited to vlog everywhere. So I'll show you what I. This is the skin. This is a pro made from the skin of the sights monkey. Huh? It's made from monkey. Wow, it looks expensive. And it's requires a lot of food. Because if that was the case, why uh -huh. did he evolve to a human? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If he was a if he was a if like if he was supposed to be a human fast of food. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't like how you Me too. I love this one.
seven and then you go you walk like for stairs to get to the rooftop rooftop One of the things you can do at the KCC rooftop, rooftop, and this is the view. Yeah, so I'm gonna end the video right here. Hope you like, subscribe, and comment down below the things that you can do that I haven't mentioned in the video. Bye.